So Sorry. you guys can hear us, right? Just out of curiosity, we are audible to everyone because I have muted myself for obvious reasons. But, but I could, uh, assuming everybody can hear us, I assume fine. Um, but I could actually. You could run. You could test that. Oh yes, I could. Actually, why don't I just do that? Yeah, they can. Um, okay, basically, I could put a link to all the lobbies in the forum. Um, and in there fact, are I've few. thought about doing it. Uh, they, yeah, there's like four or five to web, choose Web from. lobby, not a lobby, zero... K, er, yeah, web lobby, not a lobby, zero K lobby are probably in that order the ones to go with for Evo. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Uh, task client, I would love to mention task client, but it doesn't use common game folders, which makes it a pain in the... But if you use yeah, don't, it, with then don't bother. If you're confused, else, yeah. don't worry about it. And Spring Lobby is being improved, but I'm not sure where it is right now. It's actually getting fairly decent, but it still has oh, it still has some annoyances that just make me shy away from it. Because um, it now, used to be really out of date, but well, I know we've been working on it a lot. If you're willing to spend, uh, let's say, five or ten minutes with Spring Lobby, it's actually pretty freaking excellent. But the problem is, is that as a new user... You don't have five or ten minutes. Well... You have ten seconds. Yeah, that and the fact... Uh, it used to do this dialogue hell thing, which I don't think it does anymore. But yeah, when starting up a game, uh, it would pull up like five dialogues. Hey, I chose some settings that I thought you'd like. Okay, sweet. Uh, hey, why don't you point me towards the spring engine? What the hell is that? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know... <laughs> And basically, these things that are that are fun for like us experienced users, but for new people, it's kind of like, what's going on? So yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, if web lobby is causing you problems, then check out Nada Lobby. If that's getting confusing because it does, Nada Lobby is a bit tied with Nada the game, and Nada Lobby can but won't necessarily use your common fo files. It does by default now, fun. I think. Does it? Okay, well, it depends on how you install it, I think. Oh, At crap, any rate, you might be right. Shoot. Yeah. Anyway, depending on how you install it, and then 0k lobby will automatically use your default stuff. But yeah, web lobby's probably the easiest one to get into, though. Like I said, that start, that start button. There's some UI design things that's being worked on. I don't know if there's anything else if we covered to satisfaction. Um, honestly... In in game, there are some. Let's call them UI fails. They're not necessarily UI fails, but we're going to call them that just for the hell of it. Quite a few. The default um, placement of widgets, for example. Actually, you'll. I the chat widget should not be at the top. The chat widget should not be at the top. Really? Mm. Yeah, it gets in the way. It's just mm -hmm. really that sort of thing. Just should not. It should be at the but, bottom. Hey, let's everything else is fine at the top. Mode. Show them tweak mode. Show them how you have your yeah your sure. Just up. give me a sec. I need to actually get into a game. Let's... Actually, this game with God and uh, five noobs is uh, wow. They're actually these must be zero K players. <laughs> it's getting to the point to now. If I don't I recognize see the names. I, if I see people actually building something, I assume they're ZK players now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, yeah. So by the way, for anyone who's coming from Steam, just as a thing, it's. Steam is... Oh, Carp is watching, by the way. Steam is basically going to give you basic stuff. Like, there's so much of this game that's just on its own server that Steam is basically just feeding you the base client. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Now, also... So anyway, tweak mode. I was going to get into that. So yeah, this is tweak mode. Ah, yes. See, with tweak mode, you can, you can place your GUI wherever you want. And it's worth noting that on the little menu that's toggled by the escape key, uh, if you just press it a whole bunch of times, you'll see it flashing. You can click the green, like, uh, arrow four-way arrow crossbars, and that'll get you into tweak mode. You can move things around. You can resize them. It doesn't matter. They'll generally line up on their own. If you just kind of get them near each other, they'll kind of snap together. Um... And there's a lot of customization you can do there, and I'm not sure exactly what Shadow here is showing because I'm actually spectating this game, uh, which I thought you were in, but apparently not. I am in. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the same game you are. So yeah, that's oh, yes, you tweak are. mode. Yeah. To some extent. 
So yeah, this is how I happen to have my UI set up. The default UI is considerably different with the mini map in the top left. I think the chat in the top is the only problem, honestly. I think everything else is tolerable. I think the chat in the top is the main issue, honestly. Uh, by the way, uh, extra Morse, um, press the up arrow key, I'm guessing. Hmm? Uh, sometimes, oh, if yeah, you sometimes have panning, dual screen like I do, and you're panning, if you're panning, uh, like with the arrow keys and you move your mouse out of side of the window, uh, sometimes it'll get stuck on that, on that pan movement, the way to... Uh, release it is to just, you know, make hit sure the, the game's in focus and hit the arrow key of which way it's going. Yeah, it's kind of dumb, but uh, spring with dual screen is kind of funky sometimes. Um, yeah, that's one issue. Another issue to point out is that if you have multiple monitors, what you can do, the kind of tricky thing, but you can do is just type slash grab input into the chat, and then you'll hit the edge, and that's it. There's also a widget that does it. If you press F11 yeah. and find grab input and click on it and make it green, it will automatically do it for you every game. Actually, it didn't, but okay. Oh, well, it's and supposed to be. <laughs> Crap. And, yeah, that's supposed to happen, so normally it shouldn't be an issue. And also, despite what Forb is saying, don't ever press F11. Like, seriously, if you, unless you know what you're, unless you really need to, or you're working on widgets, don't press F11. That's probably like, true. don't, just, there be dragons, don't bother with it. Actually, yeah, disregard everything Forb just said about F11. Ouch. Just, well, kidding. for someone who's new, for people who are new, it's really not worth the trouble. True. The F10 menu, or the escape menu, is going to have enough, on, escape menu, sorry, by default it's escape, is going to have enough on its own to keep you busy for an hour setting up the game. That's the one weakness I found with spring games. Major UI weakness is that it takes a while to set up if you really want to tweak everything. Yeah, but on the other hand, I have suppose you can say it's nice the fact that you can tweak all this stuff, but yeah. And the fact that you sometimes have to is the problem. Yeah, generally you shouldn't have to. I've tried to set this up more or less so that it's usable right out of the box, but you know, it's a one-size-fits-all solution, and one size rarely ever actually fits all. So, Especially when you consider performance issues and so forth. Yeah. And so, uh, like, for example, what Shadow Fury is saying, the, uh, on the escape menu, the wrench button there, that will allow you to adjust practically all of the graphics settings. Um, and there's a little controller button that's oh, sitting next to it. That one. That's my own widget. Oh, okay. Uh, I should have bloomed widget. That's my own. <laughs> <laughs> that's an override from 0K. The, uh, Disregard that. The little controller button next to it will actually pull up commands. You can uh, assign hotkeys to practically anything that you want. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty robust. It's um, just really big and kind of unwieldy. Yes, very much so. But at the... I should mention on that same note... And I'm watching this epic tr patrol move from uh, Damn Gam. But... Um, <laughs> I should mention that spring games like Evolution RTS, Zero K, Nota, uh, all the others, Cursed, basically, they are... There's so many things that help reduce uh, macro... Uh, it's hard to explain, but like there's for example, there's only things that reduce clicking. You don't have to click on stuff. There's infinite build. There's line move. There's Thank you. the fact that you can queue an infinite number of commands. There's just a lot of things that basically don't require that you keep jumping around the map in order to do stuff. But because so that's of some, that, it gets a little confusing sometimes, especially if you're new to it. Because like for example, let's say you came to Evo from StarCraft Two. Well, <laughs> StarCraft Two is very restrictive and so coming from that to I mean it's a huge difference from that even with I mean EVO units just shoot you can give them a move order and they just shoot whenever there's an enemy in range oh that's right yeah move units as you can see move while firing and fire while moving yeah and also realistic physics now interestingly enough Starcraft 2 has physics but they aren't actually used anywhere 
Uh, if you've ever seen stalkers shoot around a corner, that's always fun. Uh, it happens a lot. Yeah, most Blizzard games typically don't focus on that sort of thing. They focus instead on more abstracted unit interactions. So it's focusing yeah. more on the direct counters and so forth and what targets what, which is that's its focus. Mm -hmm. like, I, I don't mean to disparage it because I actually There's do quite like... I think, bear in mind, you're talk I am someone who quite who is who quite likes StarCraft. I've played in ICA for a while and have been getting into Starbo as well, so I don't take anything I say as disparagement. It's just worth noting that that is a difference in focus. Mm -hmm. So bear that in mind for anyone who's coming in from StarCraft or StarCraft 2, that there is a very different focus for what's being done in evolution in spring based games. And you should you uh, should also keep in mind that uh, regarding disparaging StarCraft 2, I play StarCraft 2 a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, uh, I definitely am very familiar with you know all the sides of that. Okay. Also, sorry to interrupt. Just in chat, someone is asking, how do you restore your UI? Uh, okay, it's possible. It's actually fairly simple. It's just that it requires that you delete files from your spring installation. Yeah. Basically, I don't know how much I should get into detail in this. Um, but I can post instructions. Okay. Uh, it's actually yeah, just, really easy because since easy they're in common do, folders, they're easy to It's easy to, to do. It's just that it's something I don't really want to go over in the stream because it's something you need to, you should have, you can read over a few times. The folder structure in spring takes a little getting used to. It's not terribly hard. It's just that it's, it's not, it's its own folder structure. It's, anything it's new it's different so yeah don't i'm not gonna go over here but yeah it's possible it's not easy if that's another thing we should go over that's another thing you should fix is make it really easy to restore default ui and i've actually made the suggestion as well for lobbies to have different ui themes that are basically just stock ui placements that you can just click on and it'll set your ui up or set your positioning of your widgets up such that it matches so you can have your default, you could have the UI like what I have, you can have more StarCraft UI where the selections are in the center. You could have more Command and Conquer UI where the mini maps in the top right corner mm -hmm. and everything goes down from there. Uh let's see. Trying so yeah, that's that's something that I've suggested that no one's really taken up on, but Um yeah, actually files is a thing. believe it or not, the uh the path to get to the, these files that we're talking about is actually really simple if you're using WebLobby because it sticks it in the common spring folder. So that uh, that makes things a little bit easier. And I just answered it in the chat. Yes. Which is actually not that... Yeah, it's my documents, my games, Lua UI, I config, not that delete easy. everything in it. It's not the easiest to find, but on the other hand, my documents is fairly simple to find, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, hopefully yeah. It'll, be a, hopefully as, it'll be a one button thing. As Carve Repair points out, you can delete the entire folder, and that'll do the same thing. It'll just get Actually, recreated. Actually, I should probably point out, you can delete the entire Lua UI folder, and exactly. while you might, depending on what you have in there, it might change things. Like for me, I can't do that because I have a bunch of my own stuff in there. But for just a brand new player coming in, you could delete even that. Yeah, Blab, we we understand, but at at the moment, that's we don't. As I mentioned before, this is the problem with the way this spring stuff is. That's not a lot of people. We haven't had a lot of new blood, and this is where a lot of new people coming in from Steam is forcing people's hands because we haven't had a lot of new blood. We haven't had a lot of reason to get. And in the nitty gritty of UI design, much to my chagrin, and <laughs> I mentioned this when I first came in, but anyway, much to obviously people's chagrin now, the new players coming in, there hasn't been a lot of push to get a lot of solid UI design, which I know is an excuse, but it's just worth bearing that in mind. That is something that is being worked on now because it's actually got there's pressure to do it now. So in the next week or so, it should probably be a lot better. Yeah, I I really hope that that uh, people stick around and, you know, just kind of kind of wait out the rough spots of which there are many. But, uh, you know, if they'll just kind of stick it out a little bit, um, things will definitely get better. There's a lot more work planned. Um, even with Evo, uh, Smoth has been talking about doing a lot of uh, 
enhancements to, for example, the survival AI, uh, which will actually make it a lot more fun, even if you're playing in teams, uh, and hopefully a lot more simple and less confusing to get started using. Um, but yeah, it's uh, things could definitely be better than they are right now. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, but keep in mind that before Steam came along, Spring was a very small community. I mean, we're talking maybe 300 people at any given moment. Uh, maybe. It was more maybe. like 50. Well, eh, Seriously, you're off by an order of magnitude. <laughs> it, it really was not that. Even 300 is big. 300 was like a tournament day. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Yeah, Saturday when there was some big tournament. Maybe you got 200 even. So yeah. Yeah. But whatever problems you have, there's stuff on the wiki for it and stuff on forums for it and the actual game itself is being worked on. So I think that's about it. I think that's all we can really cover at this point. I don't know what else there is to go over. Um besides flailing our arms and saying, "Please don't hate us because we suck." I think I think I actually will go through with posting a lobby thread in the I really don't want to because I don't want to end up having to try to troubleshoot so many lobbies but you know what if people can try other lobbies and it just works for them then hey you know what screw it whatever works whatever the easiest path to get in um, web lobby assuming that everything works okay for you web lobby is by far the easiest option for Evo but uh, if not, there are alternatives. So, yeah. <laughs> That's worth noting. And uh, also keep in mind that uh, Web Lobby is continually being updated and improved. So, they've been working pretty hard on it. See, so, yeah, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful to uh, to you guys. I mean, uh, I know it's actually kind of hard to cover these questions um, just because of what they are like. For example, uh, the, the screenshot that, uh, oh, what's his name? Lawferin. The screenshot that he posted where he was getting this really weird error with web lobby some of that is ridiculously hard to answer that is something where i would just recommend a different lobby um apple together just uh just for the sake of expediency and i will post this screenshot in that the, is weird in the forum especially so. given that the error is the operation completed correctly <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, it sometimes happens. Uh, yeah, so uh, pretty much things happen. But uh, I do believe that there are a sufficient enough number of people that are interested and that are willing to, uh, to stick around and really kind of give it a go that I think everything's going to end up being positive. This this week's probably going to suck, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The past so, few days have been very difficult. <laughs> yeah, so we're sorry. We're really sorry. It, We will have it... It will be improved. And if it's not improved, then... Well, we apologize in advance, but... By the way, speaking of player names getting on a completely different subject, you've got Commander Kickbutt on one team and Flaccid on the other. Ladies, man. Aw, yeah. <laughs> right. I love some of these names. <laughs> I... More power to you, I guess? I don't know. This is just weird. Spud, buddy. This is going to be weird when I actually come just doing casts on this. I mean, I just... I don't know how much I'm going to be casting Evo, but... 0k, I imagine it's going to be a lot of bleed over, and yeah, that's going to get weird. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, already I get some weird. I had some weird Acron cast. Actually, you no, know I should probably just get off. So yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and hopefully that helped. If it didn't, hopefully the stuff in the forums will help. And do what we can. Sorry, guys. And hopefully what we can't as well. But it's kind of hard to do what you can't do. We're working on that as well. Once we manage to completely eliminate the possibility of logical contradiction getting in our way, we should be able to do everything and nothing at the same time. But until that happens, we're doing our best. So please hang on. We apologize for the inconvenience. And everything should be better shortly. And if it's not, we apologize in advance. And we will have Car Repairer's head. <laughs> <laughs> or Car. <laughs> okay, we won't actually have his head. Because he's too far away. And I don't have an axe handy. But, at any rate, we will we are doing what we can. So thank you for thank you for supporting the game. Yes. And supporting Spring in general. Yes, and... and oh, well, hey, by fun. the way, let me mention... Um, some people have mentioned donations... You can donate on the Evolution RTS site. That's fine. Um, you don't can also do okay. We don't. We don't want to talk. We don't do donation drive yet. We'll we'll but, talk donation drive once the stuff no, is no, in a more no, no. competent state. I agree. State. I agree. Please do not feel obligated to donate at all. However, I just want to mention that any donations that come in will be going directly to the Spring Server Fund. So yeah, I uh, yeah. But but yeah, like don't 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 even worry about that. Like just, yeah, just just. If if you really want to, feel free. But we really didn't want to. I didn't want to get into a donation drive talk. No, no, not let's at just, all. Just push that aside. <laughs> let's just ignore that. Thank you once again for watching, and have a good night, everybody. Take care, guys.